हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू पार्ट थ्री ऑफ गेट 2008 फिजिकल मेटलॉजी सॉल्यूशन द नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन ऑफ फिजिकल मेटलॉजी इज प्योर आयरन ट्रांसफॉर्म फ्रॉम बॉडी सेंटर्ड क्यूबिक बीसीसी टू फेस सेंटर्ड क्यूबिक दैट इज एफसीसी क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर एट 912 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इफ द लेटेस्ट पैरामीटर ऑफ बी फेज इज जीरो nanometer and that of the fcc phase is 0.363 nanometer the associated volume change is so basically here it is given that iron which is initially at bcc structure transformed to fcc at 912 degree centigrade now so since it is getting transformed so the bcc has got some uh, lattice parameter okay? and lattice parameter of fcc is equal to 0.363 nanometer now to calculate the volume change so we need to first remember like the volume if you take the volume of the crystal like you say bcc and fcc okay now here the number of atoms is 2 and here number of atoms will be 4 okay now suppose if you take the case of bcc then what is the volume volume will be a bcc So cube, okay. Now this volume is occupied by two atoms, and A F C C, the cube that is volume of F C C is occupied by four atoms. But since we are calculating uh, the volume change, so we need to first determine the volume per atom. So what will be the volume per atom? In the case of BCC, it will be a BCC cube divided by two, and for the case of FCC, a FCC cube by three. Okay, so so since there is a percentage change in the volume, so you have to calculate a FCC cube by sorry. Uh, sorry so this is here four the number of atoms is four by four minus a bcc cube by two divided by a bcc cube by two into hundred so percentage change in volume is equal to okay the thing which you need to remember is the volume per unit atom because since the number of atoms are different in case of bcc and fcc so uh, we may have to calculate first volume per unit atom so in fcc it will be divided by 4 and bcc it will be divided by 2 so if you calculate it then this will come around which i have calculated minus 4.92 percentage okay so the answer for this question is minus 4.92 now coming to next question yeah next question is related with diffraction so in a powder diffraction experiment on bcc iron the first peak occurs at 2 theta is equal to 68.7 degree okay the wavelength of x rays is so we have to calculate the wavelength in three decimal places and given value is the lattice parameter of iron is 0.2887 nanometer okay now 
<coughs> we know the formula that is n lambda is equal to 2d sin theta so we need to apply this formula now since it is given at uh, there is uh, there it is nothing mentioned as it is a second order or a first order so we will consider it as a first order only because when nothing is mentioned then it is assumed that it is for the first order a fraction now we have to calculate lambda is equal to 2 so we know interplanet distance is a divided by root under h square plus k square plus l square for the plane hkl into sin theta okay now here we know a that is the lattice parameter lattice parameter is given here but we need to uh, know about this root under h square plus k square plus l square and we know that in bcc the value of h square plus k square plus l square for uh, diffraction it goes like 2 4 6 8 and so on and since it is first it is given here that the first peak so first peak occurs at value h square plus k square plus l square is equal to 2 second peak will be at 4 third 6 and so on and here it is asking about the first peak only so we will take value 2 so 2 into a a is 0 0.287 nanometer divided by root under 2 into sine theta and here we have to take theta but here it is given as 2 theta so this will be 68.7 divided by 2 okay now if you calculate this then this value will come around 0 0.229 nanometer okay guys so the answer for this question is 0 0.229 nanometer now this is the last question of physical metallurgy this question i have printed okay so this is the 11th question now here consider consider a dilute substitutional solid solution of x in a metal a the powder diffraction pattern of this alloy reveals that all the peaks have shifted to the left when compared to those for pure A with no splitting of peaks. If such a solid interacts and segregates to an edge dislocation, which of the following positions around the dislocation will it preferentially occupy? It, it's a little bit tricky question. So now here since you know that in x-ray diffraction we get peaks you know somewhat like peaks like this okay this is the intensity versus theta and suppose this is for pure a now in case of pure uh, in case of uh, uh, alloy when we are mixing x in a then we are getting peaks suppose the first peak was at this position but we are getting peaks you know shifted towards left shifted towards left so it has been lifted uh, shifted towards left so basically the theta values that is the theta 2 and here this is theta 1 for uh, let us consider for first peak only so theta 2 is smaller than theta 1 okay now we know the equation lambda is equal to 2d sin theta or we, we can write 2 d a by root under h square plus k square plus l square to sin theta here you see we have lambda which is a constant value sin a a a is also a, a constant value for a pure case only but since here alloy is uh, we are making an alloy by mixing x with a so a will vary and sin theta so here in the case of sin theta 1 and in the case of sin theta 2 now since sin theta 2 
that is theta 2 is smaller than sin theta 2 so to balance this a has to increase okay since lambda is constant and because of theta 2 is decreasing so overall sin theta 2 is decreasing so a has to increase to balance this equation you got it uh, this is the trick so here a will increase basically a will increase that is the lattice parameter will increase so how this lattice parameter can increase if we are adding solution uh, adding uh, a substitutional you know uh, solute which has got bigger size as compared to the parent size so here suppose we are a a a initially a, a a same size and here we get like this x then it will be of higher size so this will uh, try to expand this and due to this expansion the lattice parameter will increase okay so from this from whole this uh, uh, equations we conclude that the x has got size greater than a so when x has got size greater than a this means whenever x will fit uh, into this dislocation then it will try to push the other atoms so it will try to it will basically uh, apply compressive stress so it will try uh, to apply compressive at stress and since this compressive stress should be applied in such a way that the overall strain of this dislocation will decrease now here we know that at this point at this junction here is a compressive stress and here is a tensile stress okay you, uh, let me draw this diagram here is the compressive and here is the tensile and now since when x will be added and it will apply compressive so x will try to go in the tensile position only because it it has got inherent you know uh, compressive stress so this will try to impart some compressive stress on tensile and it will be stabilized means overall energy will decrease so here you can see the x atom has been put here so this is actually wrong because if you put x atom then it will again create uh, compressive stress and already there is a compressive stress so this will not be a stabilized structure if you see here also at this point also we are keeping x and in this region only there is a compressive stress so this x is also not going to do uh, our job this is a similar case you know x is we are putting here at this position so here since there is a compressive now in this case here is the tensile and here is the compressive so it is just near to tensile position so this x atom will you know create compressive and reduce the overall strain value so only this position is going to do our job so the answer will be in the case of s so answer will be t so guys so in this question basically the trick was that you have to uh, first identify whether the size of x atom is greater than or smaller than a and accordingly uh, one can answer okay guys thank you